guys, welcome back. So all three hoodies, they look similar and two out of the three are almost identical, which was something that bothered me a lot because I was spending a lot of time finding which hoodie should I buy. So for today, we are providing more clarity and more understanding as to the differences and the similarities of these hoodies. So if you are planning to buy one, you know exactly what you're getting. If you're new here and it's most likely you're searching out something like streetwear or techwear, you can check out some of my previous videos. And for today, we are purely comparing the differences and the similarities between all three hoodies. First, let's talk about the thin or thickness of the hoodie. All three hoodies are thin layered hoodies, starting from thin, thinner and thinnest. But out of all three hoodies, 11 BYBBS star is the one that feels like it's a thick hoodie. I know it can get confusing because I said that they're all thin hoodies and you saw the videos of the layers, it's thin, right? But I think for the 11 BYBBS dark, they've used a higher grade material, so it feels like a thick material and it's really comfortable. Like if you were here and you physically touched the material, you would just feel that this material is of a higher grade. And the material also lost the heat inside in a comfortable way. Not in the way of like a yellow raincoat where it gets all stuffy and sticky inside. And for those that don't know, this hoodie has two different versions. It almost looks identical except for the symbols around the chest area. I bought this one on Taobao because at that time I couldn't find one on AliExpress. And when I thought I did find one on AliExpress, it's slightly different. The symbols here don't match and I did ask the AliExpress seller and I got the reply, it's the old style. And 11 BYBBS Dark and 11 BBS Dusk, from my understanding, it's the same brand. Do you need some soap? Yeah, <laughs> probably some shower gel, eh? Probably, eh? <laughs> CTTC and XGXF have this hard plasticky sound, and for 11 BYBBS Dark, it doesn't have this hard plasticky sound because it's a soft material. Flipping the hoodie inside out, you can immediately tell that there's a difference in color. CTTC and XGXF has a silvery mesh looking type of fabric. It's a hard but not uncomfortable plasticky feel. Also, you can tell that CTTC and 11 BYBBS Dark's stitching looks neater compared to XGXF. When you touch a fabric of 11 BYBBS, you know that they have used a different type of fabric. Out of all three hoodies, they are all comfortable to wear. I mean, what else? What's the point in making uncomfortable hoodies? But I have to say, 11 BYBBS Dark's hoodie is the most comfortable one, and second place goes to CTTC, and finally XGXF. A subtle difference that I notice is that CTTC uses a higher grade type of fabric, type of material, compared to XGXF. If you look carefully, you will notice XGXF's hoodie it's wrinkly. It doesn't hold its composure as well. And you can clearly see that it's wrinkly in the inside and outside of the hoodie. All hoodies that are shown here are size L. Hey guys, it's Nathan. And today, right now, we're going to do the waterproof test. We're going to use this um, pocket here and then put the um, napkin in between. Oh, look how that just rolls off. Oh, oh, oh such difference. no, oh no. Oh, it's actually coming through. Alright, so when I put it in, it was like that, right? It seems like it's wetter up here because of the zip line. Because water does go through the zip. Uh, but it doesn't really affect the bottom part. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. Wait, squeeze it. Wow. You see. <laughs> it's completely wet. Completely wet. I mean, yeah, it is completely wet. Even you can see the water stand here. Wow. Look at it. Yeah, I don't think it's waterproof because this part is not even the zip line. It's just the yep. you know, the material. Yeah. 
I don't think the cloth is waterproof here. It's really wet, see? Whoa. Oh, do you see? <laughs> I just see this. Look at this. The line is not straight. See? The gap is like this big, right? But as you go down, it's getting smaller and smaller and it's really obvious. Like, Whoa. really obvious. I didn't realize that. You're this right. is like probably like five millimeters. It's like one centimeter. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, good. <laughs> 11 BYBBS Dart has the best Velcro strap out of all three. Then follows CTTC and then finally XGXF. Out of all three, XGXF's Velcro strap feels cheap. 11 BYBBS Dart has its Velcro straps cut rounded so they've spent more detail on their Velcro straps. And CTTC's Velcro strap quality sits somewhere in the middle. Only the CTTC and the SGXF have side pockets. But for me, both of the side pockets don't feel secure. Like, I wouldn't put my phone in there. But then, later I discovered the pockets have this interesting design. I think the full process of these pockets were that you have your phone standing up rather than on a side. Like, what I mean is, it feels like if your phone was standing up, it feels more secure. See this? 1.5 liter. It can actually fit in the side pocket. You guys will be amazed. Whoa! <laughs> Come over here, bro. Wait, it's See? like it's not even there. Yeah, it doesn't even look like I'm holding this. This is so random, eh? Yeah. It goes, it goes all the way to the chest area. Like, I can fit a 1.5 liter drink bottle. And this is what I mean by it's made so that it should be standing up, like the item should be standing up. And if we try sideways? So when it's standing up, it doesn't feel like it's falling out. The depth of the pocket is massive. And then, yeah. But yeah, see this doesn't really work, but for some reason, if you go from top to bottom. <laughs> CUTC and XGXF have similar pocket depth. 11 BYBBS Dart's pocket is a bit smaller and does not have a similar depth as the other two. Chest pockets are the same across all three hoodies. They all can fit my P30 Pro. The zipper teeth are covered with a water sealing layer, but as from our test, you guys could see that water still seeps through. The left side pockets, the depth of these pockets are all similar across all three hoodies. The only small difference that I noticed is that the 11 BYBBS dark pocket is a bit smaller. The zip qualities feel different as well. It's really hard to eyeball it. The zip quality ranks from 11 BYBBS dark being first, second coming in CDTC, and finally XGXF. I think the overall quality of XGXF, they just hit the minimum mark, whereas the other two, they go above and beyond. Also, CDTC and XGXF gives you that extra option of attaching additional pockets or accessory on the side arm as they have this Velcro strap system attached to it. For the hoodie cap, BYBBS and CDTC, they have this extra piece hanging out. XGXF does not have this extra piece. Now, the quality of the printing is also different as well. 11 BYBBS Dark and CDTC have better quality printing on their hoodies. For XGXF, the printing looks like it's about to fade soon. And if you look closely here, the second coat of the paint is misaligned to the first coat. Now, hoodie straps. The quality of the hoodie straps are different as well. If you look at 11 BYBBS Dark, for some reason, look at this piece over here. It's cracked. And I don't remember slamming it into anything. CDTC and XJSF, their locks seem pretty solid and doesn't look like they're gonna break away. Another small difference is that for the 11 BYBBS Dark hoodie, their elastic straps are much thicker. And for the other two hoodies, their thickness is the same. All right, the day's gone by so fast. And to be honest, I really want to go and edit my travel video. The team and I, we went to some epic travel places and I can't wait to dish that video out. The team has been on my back, just constantly telling me, when is that video coming out? So until then, Day Mixer out. Well, it still fits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>